to Maeve McLaughlin and to Councillor Mark H. Dirk in there. Your calls and comments, 712665222. 20 years of this problem. Uh, if you live down there, we'd very much like to hear from you. If you're one of those poor, unfortunate people that Tony mentioned there that bought a house that backs onto it and have been living through this sort of nightly nightmare over the last 20 summers, then please do get in touch with us. Uh, caller says, ask Maeve, did the closing off of the lanes include Baldrick Crescent? I live there and there's no sign of our lane getting closed off. Another caller to the programme says, cut down the cover, cut down the trees so that they, uh, <clears throat> so that the people can be seen, the young people can be seen. They said they put up lighting before, didn't work, they were smashed. Caller says, if they were ask, uh, to ask the rates office for a reduction, then they may find some action is taken a little bit quicker. Lots and lots of your call calls and comments on different things. I'm going to get round to them shortly, but <clears throat> we have another story that we have to go to now. The time's just after half past nine. According to a study, the children of divorced parents are more likely to grow up as independent adults than children of conventional families. Over a thousand people were asked the question, do you think you are completely independent? Those who were raised by single parents were more likely to say yes. On the line is Andy Barr from myvouchercoats.co.uk who carried out the survey. Good morning. Good morning. Andy, thanks very much indeed for joining us on the programme today. It's an interesting question to go out and ask people. Why did you decide on that question and were you surprised at the responses? Well, we, we do um, a lot of surveys across the site, some for fun, to try and understand a bit more about of our, a bit more about our customer base, but some of them also to try and find out what deals and offers uh, you know, most of our visitors are looking for. So um, with this one, we were looking at the parenting sector and uh, what kind of deals and offers people could be looking for. And this question fell out of a sort of wider survey as to you know, the kind of um, aspirations that parents have. And the, one of the findings was very interesting. For example, you're more likely to be confident about changing a light bulb if you were raised by a single parent. I, I think that's, it is more surprising, or it's very surprising, but um, I, I come from, I guess, a traditional family background, my man and dad, and I'm absolutely petrified of changing light bulbs, something my wife uh, always mocks me about because uh, I had an experience where one, I, I watched my dad doing one and it exploded in his face, which is not <laughs> ideal. Uh, so from, from that point on, I've always been a bit wary of them. So I guess I am living proof that, uh, that maybe people from a traditional background are a bit more uh, scaredy cats. Why do you think it is, from your research, that uh, children from single-parent families do grow up? to be more independent and capable well, i guess it's really difficult not to go into sweeping stereotypes but i think it maybe comes down to a bit more um tough love maybe um maybe the fact people are more uh resourceful or they have to be more resourceful they don't have a kind of um a partner to always uh, rely on for support and help so you have to get down and down and dirty and do it yourself and i think that's you know reflected in some of the some of the findings that we had Yes. For example, another one, it was very practical things like wiring a plug. Single parent family, 58% uh, of people from a single parent family said they knew how to wire a plug from a conventional family. It was almost half that, 32%. Hanging a picture, which isn't exactly brain surgery, is it? But single parent family, 62%. A conventional family, 53%. I mean, all these kind of things from unblocking a drain. Is it as simple as do you think that people from single parent families simply have to do more to keep the family going? Well, I think one of the things that we found with my voucher codes is that parents are saying um, if you don't have a partner, sometimes you need to have, or most of the time, if, you're, if your kid's really young, you need to have them with you at all times. So maybe it's the mm. fact that um, kids are actually sat there watching, um, you know, the, the single mum or single dad uh, fixing a light bulb, blocking a drain, putting a picture up. Whereas if you're in um, maybe a more traditional relationship uh, with, you know, um, mum and dad, the, the mum's often uh, given the child to look after while the dad goes and you know breaks various DIY things. So I think uh, I think it maybe does come down to, to to just the fact you don't have that other person around. Andy, it's lovely to talk to you. Thanks very much indeed for joining us on the programme. That's Andy Barr there from myvouchercodes.co.uk. Carried out the survey. You can go to their website if you want to look at some.